I'm your girl Tasty Keys, chilling backstage, Afro Punk. I'm here with Chaos. We're here for SocietyHAE.com. How you doing today, bro? Oh man, beautiful day. Uh, hot and beautiful. Hot and beautiful. What are you about to do for the people today? Uh, you know what? We couldn't bring my, our whole band out, so I just selected some very interesting people, four guys from my band, and we're just gonna like peruse through a lot of our songs, okay. specially made for Afro Punk. Okay. raw versions so, and we're super okay. excited to, to bring that to, to Brooklyn and to Afropunk today is these versions of our songs that are more like stripped down and raw. a lot of different genres of music, you rock, um, hip hop. Is there, like when you come to a, a thing like Afropunk that's in Brooklyn, that's geared to black folks, is there a sort of give and take when you're doing um, your set? That's a good question. I mean, no, I feel like, you know, not, you know, not, to, not to beat it over, head, over the head as it's been said, but I feel a lot of this music comes from black music anyway. Whether it's Miles Davis or Jimi Hendrix or, you know, <laughs> Chuck Berry, Fat um, to me, the core root of all this music, whether it's reggae, punk, hip hop, rock and roll, is black music. So, my my job as as a fun loving musician is to have fun with the music. But as a scientist in the music, is to find those lines where I can connect the music seamlessly. It's almost like a DJ, you know what I mean? You want a DJ wants to try out something new, he can't just drop the song. He's got to find a beat or maybe a rhythm or even at least a tempo that he can set kind of like ease people into it so that's real that's more of the science of you know if you're in brooklyn and you 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 were playing to black people and you're aware of the head nod factors we all talk about is trying to find a way to select the right songs and put them in the right way that people can feel it keyboard player my grandmother would be like you know giving me Billy Joel sheet music at 10 years old and like learn that I was like what do you you know but at the same time when I when I became a teenager and all my friends started to rap my, my male friends started to rap in the cypher I would rap and then they would be like you sing and it was kind of like an emasculating thing because I had a young voice I had a I had a I had a Michael Jackson voice so I felt like this isn't really the, the there's no male bonding in this and that's why I flipped to rap because that vulnerability as a young kid around other males you feel like why am I the singer it's like so you're right rap does rap allows you to express a, a bit more machismo you can say things there's things you can't sing and rap and you just have to find the the balance and uh, you know try to marry those two together and make them sound the best they can But it's all about the things you do 